Hi everyone, hope you're all having a great day. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much for coming back. Our big announcement is that I am pregnant. This is my first pregnancy and we are so excited and so thrilled. I've done some pre-recorded vlogs which I'm going to be posting every day just to kind of catch up to where I am now. Um, I didn't want to do that until I was at the three month mark and that's where I am right now. Where I, <clears throat> I'm at 13 weeks pregnant and I'm feeling very good and healthy and happy and the baby is healthy and it's just an amazing feeling and it's just an amazing stage that we are in. I wanted to talk a little bit about fertility and pregnancy, especially around the topic uh, of anemia and heavy periods and and the menstrual cycle and all of that because to be honest, for the longest time, I, I mean even in my early, even in my mid-teens, um, all throughout my 20s, I've always had the fear of getting pregnant. Most of it has been based around my cycle, my, my heavy period as most of you know I've been struggling with that for a very long time and also the anemia and so I was always nervous about how that would affect the pregnancy, how that would affect fertility. So I never really had any high expectations. I just sort of trusted that things would just happen at the right time and now that I'm approaching my mid-30s I, I just, we are so blessed and so happy that that we didn't have any problems uh, conceiving and and having a baby. A lot of women that I know and that I've met and even close friends of mine have had trouble with fertility and uh, getting pregnant and they've had you know miscarriages and just a lot of really traumatic things happen around something that should be just natural and should just not be so stressful for a lot of women. And so my heart goes out to those who have had trouble and who are struggling and just to know that, you know, it, it will happen and just to keep, you know, listening to your body and continuing to take care of your body. I wanted to touch on a few things. Now, a lot of you have asked me how my iron level is now because the, one of the biggest fears I had was the idea of having a baby when my iron level is so low, so low and when I'm struggling with anemia and also just the idea of managing a baby with the heavy periods. It's hard enough for myself to manage my own body and my own self when when I'm losing so much blood and the idea of having to go through that along with taking care of a, a baby 24-7 was always a very scary thought. As far as iron levels go, uh, I've been getting regular checkups now and the last time I talked to you my iron was a 9 and that was back in September. So towards the beginning of September I had my blood tested and my iron was a 9 and it was still the, the, the when I say iron, I mean the ferritin level on your blood results. So that was a nine, and my heap, my red blood cell count was also a little bit low. Now, what I started doing in the summer was I was taking two products that really helped get my iron level up, and I did that very consistently. Now, in the past, I've tried supplements, I've tried liquid irons and it just never worked as well as these two did. So but the two products and I talked about them in some of my previous videos, Hemoplex and the Lorna Vanderhagen Iron Smart. Those two I took I took a Hemoplex tablet in the morning and then I had a t tablespoon of the liquid iron. In two months, my ferritin level went from a 9 to a 31. And now there's a lot of factors that can come into play with how the iron jumped so quickly in the two months because during that period I was also not menstruating. 
uh, so I wasn't losing a lot of blood like I normally do during my heavy periods. But the good news is, is that I did get it up using those natural products. I was also eating very high iron rich foods. Some of you have asked me to do more recipes on how to incorporate high iron foods in your diet and how to make, you know, really tasty snacks. So I will do that as well. But I couldn't believe it. I was shocked how it went up. And my, and most of you know, just from, you know, watching some of my previous videos, my iron, my ferritin level has always hovered between the nine and 12, 13 mark. It's never gone up that high. So that is one thing that I feel 100% more reassured about, especially now that I'm carrying the baby, is that I am still making sure that I'm getting the iron that my body needs along with other nutrients and other supplements that you need for your own health as a mother's health and also for the, the health of the baby. So I wanted to share, those are two of the specific supplements that I used. You have to take them every day. Um, there's just, there's no once a week taking them, that sort of thing. And it really, really worked for me. Uh, a lot of you have asked me about that. Second thing I want to talk about is the mentality now that I am pregnant. Um, it's, it's really shifted and I'm now even more extra cautious about things that do affect hormone levels, estrogen levels, and just that can cause stress, unnecessary stress because it's really, really important to just make sure that as a mother to be, to stay as calm as possible, not to release too much cortisol hormone and just to really be present and just take things day by day. You'll see in the vlogs up ahead, so I did a, a few week, one week at a time. Um, I'm gonna be posting those after this video. You'll see that uh, some of the symptoms and cravings and those sort of things um, that I go through in each week of pregnancy. But now that we're at the three month mark, I'm starting to feel a little bit better. So that's why I've been a bit behind on making videos. Um, I would love to continue hearing about stories that perhaps mothers who are out there, if you've had anemia and heavy period before your pregnancy, how was it after you gave birth to your baby? Was it still the same? How were you feeling? How are you able to manage that with you know, taking care of a little baby as well. I'd love to also hear some other things that have helped you to increase your iron level and to manage the heavy bleeding as well during your menstrual cycle. I also wanna hear more from the men out there, if your wives, your sisters, your girlfriends, or any, of, any ladies in your life, what have you noticed? that has helped them. The guys out there, if you have any tips on how you were able to help the women in your lives um, feel better and just be able to manage a little bit better, please share them in the comments below. And also if, again, I've been, I've been also getting a lot of comments from men who struggle with, who struggled with anemia as well. What are some things that again have helped you thank you so much for watching don't forget to like this video share it with your friends and i will see you in the next video bye